It looks cold, and it is. The impressive traditional brick station on the Canadian National Railway at Stratford, Ontario, sees the passage of a CN through freight train at between minus 30 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Those full-width comfort cabs are really appreciated by the train crews when they're working under these brutal winter conditions. Packed snow on the ground adds new dimensions to the potential dangers of railroading. The very cold, dry air and the snow muffles the sounds of the wheels on the rails. At the same time, people are bundled up or in their automobiles and less likely to hear a train coming. With the through freight out of the way, the Canadian National Local is backing onto the interchange track. The local has a pair of electromotive GM diesels. Frozen switches are a constant headache of winter railroading. The snow and ice need to be chipped and swept away from the rods. Finally, the reluctant turnout can be thrown using a lot of body leverage. No sooner is the switch ready than the train of one of Canada's newest short-line railroads comes around the bend, eastbound, headed for the railway yard at Stratford. This is the Goderich Exeter Railway in central western Ontario, which started operations on April 6, 1992. The new generation of short-line railroads has been much slower in catching on in Canada than in the United States. Borrowed power augments the Goderich Exeter's locomotive fleet during the winter months. The first unit, number 2035, is from the Cape Breton and Central Nova Scotia Railway, another Canadian rail carrier owned by Railtex, the American Short Line Railway Company that owns the Goderich Exeter. The second unit is Goderich Exeter number 180, one of four chop nosed GP 9s built by General Motors Canada, regularly assigned to the railroad. Next comes Burlington Northern number 3080, a leased unit. We are 12 miles west of Stratford at Mitchell, Ontario, as a westbound train consisting of the three locomotives we saw earlier and a snowplow crosses the Thames River and bears down on a crossing. This line was originally built in the late 1850s. Dublin is the next community to the west as our short westbound train continues its frigid journey through the wide open winter vastness.
The first train on these tracks was the Buffalo and Lake Huron Railroad, which reached Goderich on June 28, 1858. Six years later, the line to Goderich came under the control of the Grand Trunk Railway of Canada, which became the Canadian National after World War I. St. Columban, 21 miles west of Stratford, again finds the westbound abbreviated snowplow train bearing down on the snowbanks of a country crossing. At Seaforth, milepost 25, the westbound blows its whistle for a crossing as it arrives and skirts a small snowbank. 